On Friday I need to finish the first draft of my thesis. I still have to write a lot, and finish a difficult analysis. Let's start at the Friday before when life was still chill. morning it's five in the morning <laughs> i got up at 5 30 because i'm gonna go to a neuroscience conference today to present my research as a student i'm i'm pretty busy finishing up my thesis for my master's internship so i thought it would be fun to vlog my productivity for the next week because productive I need to be. In case you don't know, hello, hi, welcome, my name is Leonie. I am a master's student in neuroscience at the University of Amsterdam, but in order to graduate we have to do an internship. So for the past half year I've been doing an internship at a research group at Harvard. And the reason that that's possible is because I mostly just work with a computer using brain data so I can do it remotely which is super nice like most people at that research group actually work remotely like a lot of people are from different countries and to finalize the research that I do at the internship I have to write a thesis about it and I only have three weeks left so but today I'm going to like a science meeting to present a research that I've done so far so th this is a poster I've already neatly packed it up, but I'll show you what it looks like when I'm there. So that's why I'm up at an ungodly early hour, because I have a two hour train ride to get there. And then a bunch of PhD students and master students will have posters there with their research. Oh, I need to grab my stuff. Cheap. Fit check. I also got a bunch of food yesterday that I can take with me on the train. Like, I have a little yogurt that I could eat. And a coffee, very necessary. I don't know why I bought a Starbucks coffee. I keep doing that because every time I think of iced coffee, I just immediately go for the Starbucks. But I could just buy a cheaper one that will taste just the same. And every time I make this mistake. <laughs> okay, I gotta run. Bye. I don't know how much I can film there. Just me and the pigeons, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I had to hang my poster. On the way back I was close to where my friend Sabine lives. So we decided to get drinks. Smile. Hello. Hello, Lenny. Maar ik moest vanochtend om tien over zes de deur uit. Tien over zes. Hoe laat begon dat? Hoe zijn allemaal dingen klaar? Nou, het begon om half negen, maar het was dus twee uur reizen. Tot twee uur reizen. Gaat hij niet meer overstromen? Ik hoop het niet. Nee, het gaat goed. It 
was dark yesterday when I came home, so I couldn't really talk about it. But now it's Saturday and it's light, so let's talk about the conference. I'll show you the poster as well. So <clears throat> it was a very long day, but it did go by quicker than I thought. It was very interesting. It was just, it was just really weird to be there, like among all these scientists. It just felt very real and that was weird. Yeah, so during the day there were all these lectures from other neuroscientists. Some I thought were super interesting, some I thought were a little less interesting, but yeah, you know, that's part of it. I think my favorite ones was there were a bunch of lectures um, uh, specifically about female contraception and the influences of it on the brain and also the influences of pregnancy on the brain. And that really, really interested me. I think we always hear a lot of negative things about the pill, but we're not entirely sure yet. And there might also be positives. We just really need to do more research about these problems that mostly affect women. And I thought that was super interesting. And then during the break, there were poster presentations. So there was just this hall where students and PhD students could present their research in a poster. And I was there as well. We were assigned a place, so... Um, <laughs> My assigned spot was kind of in a corner, so um, when everyone was like walking by, I, I basically, what I was looking at most of the time was just people walking around the hall and just neatly, perfectly cutting me off and just skipping the little corner where me and like another person were standing. <laughs> okay, let me show you the poster. I think I'm gonna have to blur some parts because it is, of course, sensitive medical information. Yeah, woo, science, baby. If I were to describe it in layman's terms, my research is focused on the amygdala, which is the part of the brain that regulates emotion. And I am specifically looking at what the DNA is doing in the amygdala. And then I'm focusing on what it's doing in different regions of the amygdala. So mostly just a lot of computer data work uh, with genes and DNA. Uh, yeah, so today is Saturday. I spent the day helping a friend moving and tomorrow, despite it being Sunday, I am gonna have to work because I just really need to get stuff done. <laughs> <laughs> Last week I started making a planning for myself so that hopefully next week I could get a draft ready and I'm already behind on my own planning like after like four days so tomorrow Sunday I need to work Hello, so um, <laughs> what I feel to consider is that if I spend an entire day going to a conference, making it late, and then also spending another day helping a friend move and not really sleeping a lot, um, it makes you really tired. <laughs> and I realized that I kind of did need the Sunday to just rest, and that is exactly what I did. I barely did any. I did a little bit. I did a little bit for my thesis, so. Tomorrow, Monday, we'll start strong. I have to. Also, please do not look at the mess. Okay, I'm allowed to have a messy room because I'm busy finishing my thesis and finishing up my internship, so. The goal for this week was to write my results and discussion and process all of my notes. I also had to do one final analysis. Hello, good morning. The goal for today is to finish up my results. I'm going to start by just taking a quick look at how other other articles have done their results. Like that always really helps. <laughs> just kind of read how other people have done it to kind of give you an idea of how to write.
Alright, it's time to leave gremlin mode. Ta da! Just an, a casual but nice look because I'm wearing makeup and I'm wearing jewelry, so that's casual and nice. And then I'll also wear with it my favorite thrifted soft blazer as kind of outerwear, I guess. And then also these open sandals with a heel. I always feel like I'm going to an event or something fancy when I wear these because I never wear heels. <laughs> yeah. So recap of the day is even though I did work the entire day, okay, I did spend a lot of time stressing. <laughs> I didn't finish, I did finish my methods, I didn't finish my result, but I got pretty far and writing it went way quicker than I expected. So that was really nice. Um, so I'll just have to continue with that tomorrow. And I also started difficult analysis. Um, spoiler alert, wow. Surprisingly, it was difficult to understand, but I think I'm gonna get it tomorrow. And now I'm going to an event, free event where students can show their art and their music. And I helped organize it two or three years ago. So I was just really excited to see how other people did it this year. And you may be wondering, why are you going to an event when you need to be writing your thesis and you didn't finish what you want to have finished today? Personally, I get it. <laughs> I'm thinking it as well. I notice that I get really stressed every time I do something that's not my thesis, even if it's just mandatory things like doing groceries or cooking. I was stressed while cooking. But the thing is, I really do believe that if you spend a long time working towards a deadline, like a week or two weeks, like I still have two and a half weeks, you have to give yourself moments that you can just do something nice because let's be honest with ourselves. If I didn't spend like the two to three hours in the evening doing something fun right now, I would probably end up spending those three hours procrastinating somewhere else during the week. But at least now I'm spending it on something that is actually fun and relaxing. And then the other hours of the day I am prompted to work really hard because I know in the evening I have to leave. That's my thought behind it. And I'm gonna say here that I need to start working at 9 a.m tomorrow morning and I'm saying it right now so I can keep myself to it. Okay, my results are kind of finished. It's already halfway through the day, but I have 2,000 words. It's it's three pages, a little over three pages. And as you can see, there are still parts that I haven't fully worked out yet. But my plan is to not get too hung up on having everything written nicely so that Thursday and Friday, I will still have time to kind of go over everything again and make it look nice. Also, this is how I'm planning right now. Let me zoom in. <laughs> I like to do planning blocking in Google Calendar. I've been doing this for years now and I cannot go without like it's so much easier instead of making just a to-do list of oh today I have to finish my results and work on my discussion. It's nice to actually block time for it so you can kind of see how much you can spend on it um, and it makes it easier to decide how much you can do in a day. I'm still really bad at it. I every single time I think oh I can do this in like uh, I think I had this finishing my results. I had it for like two hours and as you can see I spent a good four hours on this so I do really recommend it and you really need to get a lot done. You only have so many hours in the day. Just do um, color blocking of all of your all your task and as you can see here I need to have my draft finished so lots of stuff to do I'm still gonna have to work in the evening here as well also I like to color code so all of the stuff the work stuff is blue and then when I have something fun it's purple and deadlines are red okay I'm gonna go on a quick walk as a little bit of a break because you know we gotta breathe in the outside air sometimes to make sure our brains don't malfunction
I got noodles. I'm gonna eat them with a fork because I'm lazy. <laughs> Sorry. I made some vegetarian dandan noodles, I think. It's probably not a super authentic recipe, but it's so good. It's like a, a peanut chili soy sauce sauce and it's amazing. Usually when I'm really stressed and working on school stuff, I tend to eat really bad and just get like the ready-made meals and just eat soup and pizza and stuff. Um, but I was like, no, I want to take some time to cook a nice meal because one, I really enjoy cooking and Again, it's really nice to have a break like that sometimes. And it's good to eat at least a little bit healthy. I don't know if this is healthy, but it tastes good. <laughs> I do have kind of a setup for my discussion. The discussion is kind of the hardest part, but I'm kind of waiting until my uh, meeting with my supervisor on Friday. So in two days, so we can kind of discuss all the conclusions uh, and then I will fully finish my discussion. But. Yeah, I'm gonna be working in the evening as well. My plan for the evening is to finally look at the difficult analysis. Not really looking forward to it. I really hope... <laughs> okay, <laughs> I was about to say, I really hope I can finish it in one evening. And then I realized that might be a little, a little overly confident of me, but I'm gonna give it a try and I really do hope that I can finish it this evening because I don't know when else I should be doing it. So tonight, analysis time. If I can finish that, I'm gonna be so happy because then I might actually be able to finish something before Friday. midnight um surprisingly i did not get to finish the analysis unfortunately but i do think i got quite far and when i first started it seemed pretty hopeless didn't understand anything but now i'm starting to understand so it's progress um it does mean that i'm getting further and further behind on my planning that we may be able to finish on friday so um yeah <laughs> so for now it's time to have a good night's sleep so we can actually work tomorrow and not be completely brain dead Good morning! Wow, I'm surprisingly excited to start this long day. <laughs> I put on an actual outfit today. I even put on some makeup. I didn't put on concealer, you know? I'm not gonna hide the bag under my eyes. I will wear them proudly, like war paint. I realized that I don't have any breakfast <laughs> in the house, so it is almost nine in the morning and I just gotta do a quick grocery shop to actually get food into my house and if I do grocery shopping in the morning that is always an excuse to get a fresh croissant and I also heard that I can speak my supervisor today already instead of tomorrow so that's great so we need to change all of the plans throw everything around um, I mean if you've done internships or written theses before you know that literally just one meeting with your supervisor can change everything so we'll see if I turn out to be on the right path or I need to completely change everything <laughs> Hello. Uh, my motivation is at an all-time low. You know, usually when a deadline is approaching, your motivation just goes up. You know, a week, two weeks before a deadline, you just get this surge of, of motivation because it's it's just stress motivation. Like I, I don't know about you, but I'm deeply motivated by stress. And, and you would think that with a deadline being a little over 24 hours away, my stress motivation would be at an all-time high. 
it is not. It is at, it's at an all-time low. I'm now at the point where my brain likes to tell me, hey, just give up. Just, just give up. Like, you're gonna turn in shit anyway, so... It doesn't matter what you do, it's gonna be bad anyway. Might as well just completely give up and not try anymore, so... That's where I am right now. Love it. I'm just kind of at the point of the work that I look at my work and I'm like, wow, this is the worst thing I've ever produced. Um, I should apologize to everyone who has to read this and um, yeah, I should just stop. <laughs> I did have a chat with my supervisor, which was nice because basically everything that I had planned for my discussion, she agreed with and all the suggestions she made were things that I was also already thinking about. So I can just continue with the plan that I already had. Okay, okay, okay. Plan, plan, plan. The plan is, I think today I need to finish my discussion. After that, in the evening, again, I will hopefully finish finished the, the, the analysis, which I really, really worked hard on yesterday. That worked nice. That worked very well yesterday, working on the analysis. So I want to finish it this evening. Tomorrow, I will have the rest of the day to write everything out, you know, because I still have a lot of bullet points in my text and just finish everything up and make the results look nice. Okay, actually, you know what? Now that I'm talking about all these things that I still need to do, I'm getting a little stressed again. So Maybe that'll give me the motivation to start working. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna pester my housemaid to see if I can sit in her room while I work so I can have the social pressure and actually do something. <laughs> oh my god! I keek ook net op de telefoon, it's fucking 30 graden. Nu snap ik opeens waarom ik niks gedaan krijg vandaag. Ja. Ik wilde vragen hoe ik bij jou kon zitten, want ik moet aan het werk. I think I'm just massively dehydrated. I think that's it. <laughs> I put another another top because I don't. It, it's like 30 degrees Celsius outside. I didn't even realize. <laughs> and I don't have any summer clothes anymore, so I just put on this top. I'm gonna drink a lot, and then maybe I can work better. <laughs> Good morning. Long day ahead. Um, <laughs> my Google Calendar is full of planning blocks. Today is the day we finish everything. We go over all of my notes, all of my little mishmash blurry blur <laughs> of chaotic pieces of writing pushed together and actually turned into something good and go over all the little things that I had highlighted with look at this later. <laughs> Um, it's gonna be a lot. I'm mostly afraid of the discussion because a discussion, I mean, if you've written one, you know that it's one of those things where you're like, okay, that shouldn't be too long. And then it's like, oh, actually, I should write something about this. And oh, actually, there's more on this and there's more on this and then there's more on this. And it just keeps going. So, well, we gotta finish it today. So let's see how far we can get.
Okay. I sent it. That that's all I can say about it. I wish I could sit here and say like, "Ooh, I finished it! I'm so happy I finished it. And I sent it." I mean, technically I finished it, but I'm not really happy. Hi, I thought I would just give you the final update the next morning after a good night's sleep. <laughs> I handed it in. I may not be happy with the product that I handed in, but I am happy that I handed it in. What's next for me? I'm gonna have to wait about a week to get feedback back from my supervisor, but I'm sure you know if you've, if you've written essays or theses or reports or anything, there's always things that you know that can be better and that you would do better because nothing is ever perfect. So the upcoming week, while I wait for my feedback, I'm just gonna be working on the things that I personally already know I want to make better so I'll still be busy next week and then in one and a half week two weeks I will be finished and done and I will have a summer break I know that this vlog is a little bit less polished than I would normally like to make them but I still hope you enjoyed this vlog and got a little bit of motivation out of it to finish your school year and I hope to see you normally I say I hope to see you soon in another video but as you may have noticed, I'm pretty busy, so I don't know when I'll be able to come out with like fully fledged cool videos next. Anyway, I do really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon, probably with some shorter videos or some kind of more chill videos. More fun videos are coming during the summer break when I have free time, but for now, subscribe and I will see you another time. Goodbye.